So this drunk guy comes out of nowhere and he's like, what are you guys doing down here? What's going on? Hello, and welcome back to the Magic Hour with Emma's Vlog Creation. Now we're not, we're not we're not doing that. This is something different, guys. So I told you guys before that I was going to be doing a new segment on the channel, a new segment that involves me telling life stories, and that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to tell you guys a real life story. Now all these stories are 100% real. I'm not making them up. I'm not faking them. I'm not lying. I'm not just coming up with things on the spot. These are all actual things that have happened in my life. So we're bouncing back to my teenage years into a small town that I used to live in, and we're gonna be talking about the time that I broke into a house and had the police called on me. Now you're probably thinking, Mike, Mike, what the hell were you thinking breaking into a house? Are you, are you psychotic? Are you crazy? I can assure you guys that in this case, that is not at all what happened. My friends and I, we were walking along the main street in this town, and then we saw a, what looked like a walkway that led to the alley, and a lot of houses in the area had this. A lot of houses, you could walk on the side of them and then you are led to an alleyway. And I had people do this um, at my house all the time, just random strangers, people I didn't even know would cut through the side of my house, into my backyard and down in my alley. So I didn't really think anything of it. You know, I was, I was like probably about 16 or something like that years old during this time. And I didn't think anything of it, guys. I didn't really think that I was doing something wrong. But I couldn't have been more wrong. Apparently I was doing something wrong. So we saw this walkway and it was actually a deck. A deck that went on the side of a house and in the back of the house. And then now there were steps leading in the back of that deck, but they, everything was blocked off. It was blocked off so you couldn't get to that back alley. And we have found that out very, very quickly. So we first walked down into that section there and there was no way to get to the alley. It was completely blocked off. We said, eh, oh well. We went to go turn around and walk back up the uh, the steps and get back onto the main road. And that's when trouble had found us. So this drunk guy comes out of nowhere and he's like, what are you guys doing down here? What's going on? Can't be down here. And then he yelled for someone's name. He said, call the police, call the police. I'm like, what? what, what what's going on? Like, completely confused because we didn't do anything wrong. Nothing bad had happened. I, we, we didn't break into anybody's house. So we walked away from that situation, guys, and we went over to our friend's house. He lived across the street from us. And sure enough, about 20 minutes later, a cop showed up knocking on the door. Ding, 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 ding. Asking for us. He's like, yeah, you guys fit the description. And he wanted some answers. And us being teenagers, he wasn't going to believe us no matter what. But we did tell him what happened. And apparently that guy tried saying we smashed open a window. We broke open a window. What? Just, just, just what? We didn't break open anything. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why he said that. I don't know why he... Maybe because he didn't have enough evidence. He wanted to give the, the cops a good reason to come out and bother us. He didn't want to be wrong. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why. But he did this to us. He called the cops and said that we smashed open a window. That never happened. You guys have my word. Like I told you in, earlier in the story, we walked on the back porch and we noticed that we couldn't get to the alley. We started walking back and then the guy showed up. That's what happened. So with that being said, um, the cop took down information. He didn't give us a hard time. He was very nice. He was like, hey, you know, just don't go on people's properties. You know, don't bother anyone. Just stick, stick to your own property. Don't, you know, if you're not invited, don't go on it. And we're like, okay, yep, yeah, no, no, not a problem. You, you got it, officer. And that's pretty much where the story ends. We were let go free. We were never, we were, we were young. We weren't like arrested or anything. But it really does make me wonder, did this guy smash open his own window to get us in trouble? But either way, I really do hope Karma kind of finds this guy because what he did was wrong, was not fair. He didn't need to call the cops. He didn't need to make up a crazy story saying that we smashed open a window. None of that needed to happen. What was the purpose? What was the reasoning? I don't understand it and I never will to this day. Well, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be doing more of these in the future because why not? Uh, I think maybe once a week or once every two weeks. I'm not entirely sure. If you did enjoy it, drop the video a like. My social media links are listed down below so you can go follow me, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I'm on all three. If you have yet to do so already, please be sure to subscribe. It's completely free. It won't cost you anything. Hit that post notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.